Hi folks and welcome back to the BitTech Modding Toolbox. Now, today we're going to be focusing on something which is really quite important for modding, which is how to mark up your pieces in preparation for cutting. It's something that maybe not everyone has thought through beforehand, and really, if you streamline the process, makes it so much easier. Whilst you definitely can just get by with a simple pen, pencil or piece of paper, it's much better if you actually give it a bit of thought and then use the correct technique for the correct material. This will make it much clearer and much easier to do any of the cutting work that you need to do. So let's go have a look at different methods of how we do this. So perhaps the easiest material to start with is going to be wood, because really all you need is a pencil to get going. Now, alongside your pencil, you're gonna want straight edges, such as this rule or an engineer's square. This way you can make nice straight cuts or in this case, perpendicular cuts. If you want a little bit more precision with your lines, you can use something sharp like a craft knife or a scriber. You're also going to need a center punch for any holes. This will stop the drill bit from wandering and it's really important for anything which is, requires a certain degree of precision. Now for plastics, a lot of the same rules apply because really the materials behave in quite a similar fashion when it comes to marking out. And one of the things that's really handy with plastics is that they usually come with a protective sheet like this. The handy thing about this protective sheet is that you can draw directly onto it with say a pencil or a Sharpie, although it'll be much easier with an ink-based pen rather than a pencil. The problem is that you can't use a sharp tool like a scriber or this craft knife because it's just gonna cut right through the top layer and score the plastic underneath. But there is another method. This is a classic modder's friend. It's low tack painter's tape. The handy thing is it doesn't leave any residue. It also doesn't have a very strong sticking force, which means it's not going to ruin your surface finish. But what if you want to work with metals like this 10 millimeter aluminium plate that I've got here? Well, you can use some of the previous techniques such as the painter's tape and it will be really effective. You can also use Sharpies or pencils on top, but the lines aren't going to be that strong and the Sharpie definitely isn't going to be precise. I think we can do better. This is marking fluid, also known as engineer's blue. It's basically a permanent marker in a bottle. It has a brush on the top that you use to apply to your material and then you use a scriber to mark your lines. One of the best things about using markout fluid is that you can get really, really precise lines. It's also incredibly easy to see thanks to the high contrast. So you can use either a craft knife, a scriber, or a set of dividers to mark your lines. Hopefully that's given you some food for thought as to how to mark out for your future projects. In a later video, we're also going to be covering how to make dedicated cutting templates from a CAD file. So see you then for that.